We finally left the end zone. Just look at this beautiful scenery. It's marvelous, even though it's a bit different from what we had pictured. We were able to secure a few basic resources and are storing them in our bus. I'm glad we prepared ourselves well for this kind of scenario, especially since our inventories in the end zone ran low. Don't forget that if you need additional information, you can look at our survival guide at any time. Well done. Everything you need to know should be right here. I think the time has come for us to at last build ourselves a new home here. Before we can construct buildings at all, we have to assign the profession builder to several settlers so that they can take care of construction contracts. In general, it's your responsibility to decide which tasks are important and how our settlers are supposed to be distributed to attend to them. All right, your builders will be ready as soon as construction contracts have been issued. It's time to start focusing on our key and most basic need, water. The first thing we ought to do is to establish a working water supply. Very good. The jetty was completed as planned. Now we have a place where we can collect water. There are other possibilities to gather water too, but the jetty is the simplest and most cost-effective method. We can obtain and store water from different sources, like a jetty, rain collector, or well in the cistern. The cistern should always be in close proximity to a water source so that our water carriers don't have to walk too far. We have now installed a working water supply, and water is now transported from the jetty to our cistern. Consider hiring more water carriers if you don't have enough settlers available. Now we should focus on food production. It's important to ensure the supply right from the start. A gatherer's cabin, a hunting lodge, or a fishing hut can directly remedy the situation. Good work. 
We've now taken care of our basic supply via food and water. Make sure that you have enough food and water on hand at all times, especially if you want to up. Crops are another excellent way of getting food because they constantly grow as long as looks good. Remember that we need the widest variety of food sources to stay healthy. You should also plan ahead for drought periods that might come when it's not going to rain. Stock up on food and adapt your production to avoid bottlenecks. I'll show you a few more strategies later on. At the beginning, we don't have much scrap wood or other resources. We could build a production building, but to obtain resources as fast as possible, it's best that we start gathering right away. Assign a gather all resources task. All the settlers who haven't been assigned any profession by you are going to accept these kinds of tasks. In addition, settlers distribute resources within your settlement. <laughs> 